Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about uh, clearing out old energy. So if you like the video related to manifest power, I would like to request you all, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon or give a thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. It all started at a dinner party. I made a judgmental comment about someone who I believed had wronged me. And someone I had just met turned to me and said, how did you get so harsh? Who are you? That was the moment Smith path toward becoming an energy healer began. Instead of telling the stranger to if off, she went home and let her walls fold inward. She took a look at herself, years of competitiveness, built up insecurities and performing for acceptance had drained her. As she worked to repair those bounds, a strange side effect emerged, her intuition sharpened, and she felt the tingling of a new skill. It was the beginning of a 10-year spiritual ride. Today, Smith helps us and a lot of others figure out how we can flex our own intuitive clarity. She hosts a series of Will Soul workshop with her teaching partner. At the retreats, they take groups through mindfulness-based cognitive and energy healing tales. We have been and loved it, and still, the mystery of energy work is gone founding. But as many healers are quick to point out, its effectiveness is not dependent on relief. Meaning it's, it can hurt to try what Smith, running energy, a meditation to clear blocks from our chakras and ground ourselves in the present. Her end game is to get her clients to a place where they become their own healers. Now, how energy work works. Everything is made of energy and has its own unique vibration, including you. Everything is, a, is in a constant state of receiving and radiating energy. The frequency of this energy falls on a spectrum from light to dark. Light energy is infinite, effortless, and rooted in love. Dark or shadow energy is dense and rooted in fear. As an electromagnetic being, you attract experiences and relationships that match your frequency. Now, how do you know what frequency you are vibrating at? You may sense this energy by seeing colors or hearing sounds, or you may just know it. If you pause before you think, speak, or act, you can usually sense whether you are spurred by doubt, insecurity, control, or the need to be perfect, or you are coming from the place of truth, creativity, love. Shadow frequencies block our evolution into the light, but they are also our doorway to it. Every time we face a difficulty, challenge, conflict, or decision, we are in the process or a presence of a dense vibrational energy. In these moments, we have a choice about how we want to respond. We can go toward the light by attempting to learn from the challenge, transmuting that dense energy into higher vibration energy, or we can remain entrapped by our pain. The goal of energy work, indeed of any spiritual work, is both to align you with the wisdom of your individual soul and to connect you with the divine, God, or the supreme being, depending on how you refer to the source energy present around and within us. One effective way to work with energy and my personal favorite is to run energy through the chakras according to ancient Indian wisdom. And the earliest form of energy medicine, chakras are energy centers located in the subtle or energetic body. Each chakra represents an aspect of the human experience and includes both a shadow and light side. When the chakras are out of balance, pain blocks the flow of energy throughout or through the chakra system and we run the risk of trapping pain in areas of our body that can manifest as emotional and physical stress. In other words, when we are stuck emotionally, energy gets confined and cannot circulate or run its course. This exercise brings the mind, body, and emotions into attunement with the soul, restoring balance within the system, clearing dense energy and connecting with soul's energy, sharpen our intuition and clarity so that we can use our own inner guide to answer important questions. Cultivating these tools help us navigate life and relationship with greater ease and grace. You live your life through the voice of your soul. The practice of running energy. 
much as we need to exercise regularly to see the benefit running energy is something we would all benefit from incorporating into our daily spiritual practice start with small doses take five or ten minutes to ground run and clear your energy twice a day as your practice develops and the benefits of increased vitality clarity and focus emerge you may decide to increase your commitment we don't need a quiet room or tranquil space to run energy. It can be done at any time, in a meeting, on the train, in line or the market, and even during a heated conversation. If you, can, if you can't feel anything at first, that's okay. Keep going. Ask for the energy to come in and trust that it is there. Practice, make progress, and the more you do it, the sooner you will notice the benefit. Now, get grounded. Rarely are we present the activities and stresses in daily lives and is ruminating in the past and tripping out the, about the future. The practice of getting grounded is a process of bringing ourselves into the present moment. Presence is a doorway to healing. And the necessary first step in bringing our mind, body, emotions and spirit into attunement. Now, step one, establish a grounding cord with the, from the first chakra. Sit upright with your legs and arms uncrossed. Firmly place your feet flat on the floor. Visualize the cord and beam of light traveling from your first chakra. Located at the base of the tailbone, directly down to the center of the earth. Now, step two. Open your seventh chakra. Visualize a beam of light traveling from the seventh chakra at the crown of your head, directly up connecting with divine or cosmic energy. Now, the step three. Call your spirit home. Repeat your full name out loud three times. Your name is unique to you. By repeating your name, you call yourself into the present moment. Now, the step four, establish grounding cords from the feet chakras. Wake up the chakras on the bottom of your feet with your feet still firmly planted. Visualize beams of light traveling from the center down to the earth core. Now, the step five, run earth energy. Now that you have established cords from the first chakra and feet chakras, along with a cosmic cord from the seven, you are ready to pull earth energy up earth energy is for a screen call this energy up from the center of the earth and allow it to travel into the feet up through the legs and torso and out the crown of your head filling the outer layers of your energy body as far as your edge the aura is the layers of energy that surround the physical body with an expense as far as our arms stretched wide once the body and aura fill with this in earth energy allow it to flush down the grounding cord the first chakra into the center of the earth now the step six run forgiveness forgiveness energy also referred to as christ force energy is a transculent gold color with a blue just as you did with the energy earth energy pull forgiveness energy up through your feet legs and torso allow it to flow out to the out to the seventh filling the aura as it travels through it pushes away energy that doesn't serve or our highest and best good making room for our spirit after you have filled the body and aura once again let that energy release down the grounding core into the center of the earth. repeat this step four times now run your energy once you are grounded you can pull energy through your chakras cleansing them by running loops and removing blockages you know better than anyone what it is that you need bring that healing energy in and allow it to wash through your mind body spirit and emotions so that you have the vitality necessary to radiate that same high vibration energy outward the seventh step run cosmic energies grounding energies travel upward from the center of the earth to fill us and wash down the grounding cord in contrast cosmic energies coming through the seven chakras at the crown of the head and travel downward through the chakras they go into the grounding cord and end their journey at the center of the earth i recommend running these energies four times each and imagine the colors running through your body as you do deep programming energy a deep royal blue color that washes out dense vibrational energies from our system Clarity energy, a neon electric blue color that enhances clarity and expands knowingness. Healing energy, a green color that heals wounds. Love and truth energy, a golden color that revitalizes us with light reminding us of who we truly are.
Now the step eight. Replace the grounding cord. An important final step in the energy healing process is to replace your old grounding cord with a fresh one, realigning and anchoring you into present time let all the residual energy run through you and release it down your existing cord then remove that cord by envisioning a rose rooted to the earth through its gem the rose is symbolic of forgiveness and transmutes dense energy into light place your old grounding cord into the center of that rose and allow it to explode over a vast ocean sending the rose petals down to be rinsed and renewed follow steps one through four and off you go present and in harmony that's all about the manifest power i hope you all got it i'll definitely come in the next video with my another content till then god bless you bye bye and take care